Hello, and welcome to How To with Haas. Today we're going to go over how to review a Haas calculation. Depending on the type of calculation you have been provided, you may or may not have a cover sheet that looks like this. This will provide the basic information for the system calculated. Next, you will have a water supply graph along with the water supply information. For this system, number one notes the available pressure from the water supply. It is shown here on the water supply graph. Two notes the required pressure for the system. It is shown here on the graph. As you can see, for this system, the required pressure is greater than the available pressure. 1A shows the available on-site demand pressure. 2A shows the required on-site demand pressure for this system. Next, you may or may not have a line that shows your required pressure and whether it is greater or less than the available pressure. Even if this line is not shown, you will have the basic information provided here. Next, you will have the total flow at the source, as well as any hose streams that are included within the calculation, as well as the discharge from the sprinkler system. This system has an available pressure that is greater than the required pressure. It also includes the total flow at the source, the total hose stream allowance at the source, as well as an inside hose stream allowance, and your total sprinkler discharge. Next, you will have a node analysis. For this system, sprinklers are noted with an S. Branch lines will be denoted as A or B. You will have the elevation as well as any K factors associated with that node. Then the pressure at that node as well as any flow. You can see here at node B9 we have an internal hose stream of 100 GPM. Next you will have the pipe data. First will be the pipe tag. As you can see here, this is pipe 1. Next you will have the starting node. For this pipe, it is A1. 2 node, S1. Then you will have the elevation in feet for each node. A1 is at 13 feet. S1 is at 14 feet. Next, you will have a K factor. This will only be included if you have a sprinkler on that pipe. For this pipe, we have a K factor of 5.6. Next, you will have the total pressure for the node within the calculation. At A1, we have 12.7 PSI. S1 requires 7.4. Next, you will have the total flow for the system that you are adding to. We are starting with 15.2. Then we will have the flow that we are adding if there is a sprinkler that is open. The sprinkler is open and we are adding 25.2 GPM. Then we will have the total flow combining the current flow along with the new flow. For this pipe, the total flow will be 40.5 GPM. Next, we have the additional flow node or the discharge node. The next flow that we are discharging at is S2. Then we have the nominal internal diameter as well as the actual internal diameter. This is a Schedule 40 pipe, 1.5 inch. So we have 1.5 inch as our nominal and 1.61 as our actual. Then, if there are any fittings on this pipe, we will have the equivalent length in feet. Here we have two elbows for a total of eight feet. Next we will have the length of pipe, 74.08. Then we will have our fitting equivalent length, eight feet. And then our total feet, 82.08. In the next column we have our C factor of 120. Then our friction loss per foot. This is 0 0.060 PSI per foot of friction loss. In our final column, we will have our pressure total loss of 5.03. Any loss due to elevation, for this pipe, we have 0 
and then our friction loss. For this pipe is 4.9. Here is a pipe that is not flowing any sprinklers. As you can see here, there are a few differences. There is no K factor, and we do not have a sprinkler discharge. If the system being calculated has a pressure reducing valve or another fitting that creates a fixed loss, you will see a line similar to this one provided. This pipe is simulating a backflow preventer. Next we have our notes for our system. The notes will be different for each sprinkler system calculated. Finally, you will have a pipe fittings table. This information shows the pipe table that was used. For this calculation, the standard pipe table was used. Then you will have the page of that pipe table for the material that was used. Page A of the standard pipe table is for Schedule 40 black steel with a Hayes and Williams coefficient of 120. Then you will have the actual internal diameter for the pipes used. Next you will have the equivalent length for the fittings in feet. For this pipe table, we have elbows, tees, long turn elbows, check valves, butterfly valves, gate valves, and alarm check valves. Depending on what additional valves the system designer may need, they are able to add them to the table. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below. Also consider subscribing to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use Haas. For more information about HRS Systems, you can go to our website, hrssystems.com, and follow us on the social media channels.